Hello, I'm Tabitha and I work at the Connection Corner branch of Muncie Public Library, which is our technology branch. And this is Tech Time Stories. We will be reading stories about concepts and notable people in the fields of STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, as well as learning about some of the technology we offer here at Connection Corner. Today we'll be reading Human Computer, the story of Mary Jackson. As a girl, Mary wanted to be an engineer, but because she was black, some said, not your career. Segregation took away her path of choice until she fought back and raised her voice. Demanding to be let into the classes she needed and through persistence and hard work, she succeeded. She became NASA's first black female engineer. Then she made sure the path for others was clear. Even as a young girl, Mary Jackson loved math and science. She loved learning how things worked, and she loved helping people. Mary wanted to be an engineer and solve problems with math and science. But Mary grew up in a time when black people and white people were kept apart by something called segregation. Black children weren't always taught the same subjects as white children. There were very few black engineers and even fewer female engineers. Mary still loved learning math and science. She wanted to know how everything worked. Mary beat the odds and went to college. She became a math teacher and shared her love of numbers with her black students. Mary shared her learning with other little girls too. She was a Girl Scout leader. She loved to build wind tunnels and test model airplanes with her scouts. A few years after Mary had a baby, she went to work as a clerk. She answered the phone and wrote messages. She was good at her job, but she missed learning how different things worked. So Mary got a job at the Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory as a human computer. Engineers at Langley were working to improve airplanes. They needed human computers who were very good at math. Mary was happy to work with numbers again. Mary loved her job, but there was a big problem. Langley was segregated. Mary grew more and more angry. She was tired of being treated differently. There were many people who thought segregation was wrong. An engineer named Casimir Zarnecki asked Mary to come work with him. Kaz thought everyone should all work together. And Mary agreed. She went to work as a computer for engineers who were studying things that traveled at supersonic speed or faster than the speed of sound. That's pretty fast. Mary wanted to be an engineer more than ever. All she needed to do was take classes at a local school. But there was one problem. The school was segregated. Black people weren't allowed to go to school there. Mary had to ask the city to give her special permission to take classes at the white school. Finally, the city said yes. Mary studied hard and became NASA's first African-American female engineer. Mary worked as an engineer for many years. She helped design the spacecraft that first carried men to the moon. Mary had achieved her dream. Now she wanted to help other people achieve their dreams. After all, no one had expected Mary to become the first African-American female engineer at NASA. And she knew she wouldn't be the last. And that is the story of Mary Jackson, Human Computer.
If you enjoyed this story, here are some other resources available at the library that discuss the amazing women who pioneered diversity and inclusion at NASA. Since Mary Jackson worked with NASA putting rockets into space, today we're going to look at our 3D printer and we're going to make our own rocket. Here at Connection Corner, we have a MakerBot, one of the popular brands of 3D printers. A 3D printer uses a computer file to heat plastic and distribute it layer by layer to create a 3D object. Your first step will be to design or download a 3D printer file, or STL file, like this one here that I found on the website Thingiverse. Next, you choose what color of plastic you'd like to use, and a staff member loads it into the machine. Then, you press print and watch the magic. This print actually took about an hour and a half. Here's our finished product. Check out Connection Corner to learn more about our MakerBot. Thank you for joining us for Tech Time Stories from Connection Corner. And remember, knowledge is power. Thank <laughs> you.